Here we go, YouTube. The ultimate unboxing of the ultimate RC. My first unboxing video. Let's see how it turns out. If you like it, like it. If not, yeah, well, I don't really care. But the ultimate RC hauler. So, this thing looks badass. Everything's the same. Nothing's changed. That stupid light. Let's see here. Got GoPros all over the place. This thing is sick, huh? It's pretty much the same standard TRX platform. But it's the TRX 6. Longer wheelbase than the actual TRX 6. I think it looks nicer too. I'm not a big Mercedes-Benz fan. But I am a flatbed fan. I towed cars for 15 years. And then I joined the military. And got out of the military. And started playing with toys. And this is one of them. But when I was towing cars, this was pretty much the exact same truck I had. A black international flatbed. It said Rhode Island towing on it. And it was a badass truck. But anyway, I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna check it out, see what it's all about. But the ultimate RC hauler, sick dude. Comes with the LED kit installed, dual locking rear axles, longer wheelbase, portal axles, T-lock remote locking differentials, high-low range transmission, waterproof electronics, 3S power system, and a TQI radio system with cruise control. Everything is the same old, same old. And I'm sure every other unboxing video, they all say the same thing. But, this is great. Fits the Vortex on them. I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut those rails off of it. Cause, you know, like I said, I drove a truck for 15 years just like this. And I, the first thing I did was remove the rails. All they do is get in your way when you're recovering cars, when you're towing cars with broken ball joints or, or some damaged front ends and shit like that. Those rails do nothing but get in the way. And if you know what you're doing, you properly tie, tie down a car correctly, it's not like you even need the rails. People say, oh, it's more, it's safer. They think your car's going to slide off the side or whatever. If you, like I said, if you tie the car down properly, that car isn't going anywhere. But... Anyway, look at that. A nice little hot rod on there. I think I'm gonna go get a Fortec. I'm gonna go buy a Fortec on Monday. Yeah, definitely I'm gonna buy one. Let's see here. I don't know what the heck I just did with my knife. Where the heck is it? My damn kid had my knife and don't know what he did with it. Alright, let's grab the screwdriver. The screwdriver will do the same thing. Oh, he already did this. He already got that for me. Look at that. What a good kid. Too bad he had to go. He went to his friend's house for the night. He's been dying to see it, but I hadn't opened it. So, there we go. Alright, dude, I'm so pumped. I can't wait to see this thing. Oh, imagine if I got like a cool green color one. That would be sick, dude. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I think I'm going to get this. Let's see. Alright, let's see if I can. Hold on, let me put this down here. Hold on. Let's put that there. Let's put that right there. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Okay, yeah. let's slide this thing out of here. I got mine from uh, Hardcore Hobbies in Foxborough, Massachusetts, man. They got, it's the best hobby shop room. I go all the way up there from Rhode Island. 
to get everything I need. My RCs, they got everything and anything, man. That place is awesome. Good people, too. Like I said, Hardcore Hobbies in uh, Foxborough, Foxborough, Massachusetts. Oh, you'll get that thing in there. I can see the flatbed. <laughs> oh, look at that. Nice and easy. It comes over. Look at that. Oh, boy. Look at that. This is, like I said, this is straight up unboxing, bro. I haven't even opened it yet. I haven't even touched it yet. This is the first time touching it. It's a little body clip. Is that plastic or is that? Why does the bed feel like it's kind of aluminum? The bed feels like it's metal. Is it metal? No, it's just plastic. It feels like a good for that guy. Looks like a, almost like a thin, like like a sheet metal almost. Uh, I guess not. Oopsies. Sorry about that. <laughs> Dummy. Bad habit. Anyway. Oh, look at it, man. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. Another body clip, typical Traxxas. I knew, you know, I should have known it was like this. Alright. So I'll use those. No, I use, I use different body clips anyway. I always use these little hot racing ones. These, uh, these little guys, little metal, with the little metal, uh, with the little tab on it. The little metal ones, these hot racing ones. Yeah, these, these, these things work pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I just always pull them out. They never bend on me and, the metal ones too, they don't break. All those rubber ones always pull out and break on you. But yeah, I got a whole bunch of these. They work great. All right, let's see. I mean, it's not like there's something special, but it's just, you know, I like those. Everybody has their own personal preference. Look at that. Ah, it's looking better and better as I go. I can't wait to get like a, I'm gonna get like a strobe light for it, like a strobe bar. Put up top like a nice strobe bar, nice one. Not one of those cheesy like red and blue police light bars. I want a real actual tow truck light bar on here. Like nice amber with some yellow, some amber and some some white lights and some floods and all kinds of yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you know anything about tow trucks? Man, this thing is sick, dude. Look at. Nice. Oh. No, no, no. A wheel lift would be nice too. If they designed some kind of wheel lift for it, that would be pretty sick. That would be pretty sick. The black chrome all the way around. I wish the boxes were actually accessible, but they're not. But you know, some scaler out there will will make them accessible, or they'll make some kind of they'll make a they'll make a whole box it's metal this whole thing will come metal that would be pretty cool oh, man this is so awesome it's like stuck in all kinds of weird places let's see there it is oh, that thing is pretty It's almost like, it looks like the Freightliner, like the M2, the business class one. Mm. It's nice. But, I don't know. I'm kind of annoyed that they left the windows blacked. That's shitty. Or they could, you should have been able to maybe peel the stickers off and they had clear windows under it. But, I don't know. It's almost like Traxxas made a, a huge step up and then it, it kind of fell back a little bit with using making the whole, you know, coloring the windows in, putting stickers on them, and, you know, it's stupid. Especially after they just did all that with the new 2021 Bronco. 
you know, of course I have that too. Sitting over there on the couch. Yeah, there she is. We had her out last night. There she is. I got a black hole back. Yeah, mine's pretty nice. I like it a lot. And then I got the SCX6 down there. That truck is amazing. I love that thing. I love that thing. And my UDR and my Max and my Red Cat and my <laughs> G-Maid and my my Gladiator and a couple slashes and a TRX and an SCX24. <clears throat> yep. And another TRX4 kit right here that I built. Yep. Well, anyway, back to the story at hand here. This is a beautiful flatbed let's see this is they got this plastic all over this thing let's see let's take this body off let's see get the body off my mirrors are like all like tweaked what the heck is that what's up with that crap okay oh, all right you pull, 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 pull towards the front and then up okay okay towards the front and then up all right this is the inside of the cab. The LEDs are all in there, nice. You got the hard plastic headlights, the outside with the injection molded, they call that, I guess. Cool little LED bar for the roof lights. Everything's all tied up, and there's your little connection, your little connection right there. Plug that in. Everything's all tied off good. Yeah. Of course, Traxxas is, you know, they're famous for all that good stuff. All the trucks that I have that came with, like, or kits, or I put light kits in, they all came out great. The beautiful. This thing looks freaking awesome. This thing is freaking awesome. Oh my goodness. It's just, it's just sexy. It really is. I really, I love it. I love it. I was so pumped that Traxxas came out with this. When I saw that they were coming out with this, I had pre-ordered one. I swear, I had one pre-ordered within the next... I wasn't even an hour. I swear. I found out what hobby shops were going to have them, and I went and pre-ordered one. Let's see here. More plastic. Out of there. This is under the cat, and I think I, I saw another unboxing video from somebody on YouTube. The only really difference, I think, is the battery tray. This is the battery holder right here. And the fact that you can slide your, your uh, lipos in here. It almost feels like it's a smaller battery tray. Oh, no, not really, because it comes extends this way. So, you know, then you got your, your, your warning cards and everything. You should always read these. Especially if you're new to the hobby, you learn about well, everything you need to know. This is the easy set tips. Oh yeah, this is to set your profiles and stuff. Yeah, if you're low voltage detection. And, uh, low voltage detection. XL5 operating modes. Few profiles. Oh, you got five different profiles. That's right, yeah. Standard mode. Uh, race mode, training mode, and then uh, crawl mode. Yeah, it is. yeah, typical. But I always cut them off, take these off, and I'm gonna end up cutting this connector off and putting my uh, IC5s on it. Yeah, I have IC5s on everything. But I'm back to pulling all the plastic off of this bad boy. Let's see here. Nice, dude. Nice. I got these cool little red, metal red D rings. I'm gonna try and put on here. I'm gonna see if they go on. I don't know if these even come off. Those are pretty cool, but they're plastic though. Those things are gonna break off as soon as they get like hit once. Like I can like I can move it already. It's already moving, so it's not very tight. Not very tight at all. Anyway, 21 turn 550 reverse rotation motor, typical Traxxas crawler motor. 
your waterproof electronics box, the same box in every TRX 4 or 6, I believe, because I've never had the TRX 6, the, the uh, 6x6 Mercedes, so I don't, I don't even know what it looks like under the hood of that, under the body of that thing, but I'm pretty sure it's the same thing, not as this, but I'm pretty sure this is the same thing as that. Except for the battery tray. I think the battery tray is the same thing as the old ones with the big uh, plastic lock down on it. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I'll pull this plastic off here. Let's down here. Alright, this thing is freaking beautiful. I love it. The headboard. I like how it's attached to the bed. Yeah, well. I want to get a rollback. If they just, if somebody designs some kind of rollback for this, I'm definitely gonna get that. That's for sure. And these rails, I'm cutting them off right now. They've got these rails are coming off. I don't even want them on here. You have more room putting stuff on here without them. And all they do in the real world, recovery world, is get in the way. I'm sure they won't really be in the way on in, in you know in the RC world, but in the real world they're out in the way. Every time I got in a new truck for whoever I was working for or wherever I was doing whatever, I always took the rails off. That's the first thing I did, get rid of the rails. Because all they do is get in the way. And I mean it. All they do is get in the way. Alright, let's see here. Let's see. I'm gonna put this down for a second. Let's see. body same plug I put the light kit in the TRX4 Sport when I first came out I think I, I, the same kit but it's like had the same plugs and everything yeah the same thing I might try and wait I might try and um, clear out these windows see if I can do that I haven't seen people do it on YouTube and it looks like they do it it looks like it's not too hard to do so I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try it. I think with this one. See if I can wipe my windows. That would be pretty dope. And I know. I mean, that's a sticker. So I'll take that off. So yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a sticker. Yes. All right. Okay. Let's put this thing. And then my mirrors. I'm a little annoyed with that whole situation. They don't move. It's just like it's just one piece, and they're like I don't know, like weird. It's almost like they were pushed up against something while they were in the box, and one's like crooked. They're not straight. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure they'll be coming out with mirrors with some lights in them. Let's take this up here right now. Another thing too, this truck comes with two twos on it for wheels. So that's a plus. I, I like that. I like the fact that they come with the bigger wheels on it. That's pretty badass. And then this, let's see. This is like just like a cheap little this little battery cover thing. Oh, it's this is a cheap little piece of plastic. I mean, it's actually not a bad, I mean, idea, I guess. I mean, oh, you can do it that way, and then I guess you could also flip it over. Oh, no, it's the same. Either way, yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. I'm sure they'll come out with something again. They'll have some kind of, like, aluminum battery cover for the TRX-6 hauler. I was already on the Amazon looking and eBay. They're, they're already starting to come out with stuff for these. All right, all right, all right. Let's snip. Let's do some snippy snips. And get this thing out of the box here. Let's see her. There's one. There's one back here. Oh, they got the trailer hitch. There's no fucking. I mean, sorry. There's no, uh, no bleeping wheel lift. That's pretty darn stupid. 
should have put a wheel lift back there. Even if it wasn't a working wheel lift, something that like looked like one, because you know, flatbeds, mo most flatbeds, except for AAA flatbeds, and people that don't really know what they're doing, flatbeds have wheel lifts underneath the back. Yeah, so wheel lift so you can tow a second vehicle behind the flatbed. You can have a four wheel drive or a wreck or something on the bed, and then you can have a front wheel drive or a rear wheel drive, depending on you would have to put it backwards or whatever, depending on what if it was front or rear wheel drive. Okay, now let's put this up, get the box off of here. Now, I also heard too. I was watching a YouTube video. They said that this headboard is like hef like sturdy enough to actually carry the truck. Now, I don't know if I want to do that. It's like, no way. Because most of the weight is towards the rear. And you're going to like break it. Okay. Let's see what else we got? Anything else in here? I don't think so. I see my GoPro camera. I see myself. Oh, I see myself over here too. Wow, those things are bad. Look at that, dude. It looks, this looks real, bro. Like, like from far away. Like it almost looks like it could be real. <coughs> but it kind of bothers me that it's not like you can't open it. I know, like somebody, like I just said a million times, I'm gonna say it again. They're gonna come out with something, and it's something they're gonna be real, like they're gonna be metal, maybe brass ones, and, I don't know, something with some brass underneath. That would be pretty cool. Some for some weight, like a long for a long not long wheelbase, you know. But I do like how they put they put a gas tank on both sides. This big stairs, the big set of stairs with the gas tank. That's pretty sick. I like that. That's nice. Dual gas tanks, tandem rear end, extended extended chassis. This is longer. It's a the, long, the chassis is longer than uh, the uh, TRX six Benz. Yeah, the six by six. Let's see. I want to see what are these little hooks held in my. Oh, they're just held in by little, um, little, little, uh, Allens. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. I might not be able to see that. It's a little dark. Yeah. The lighting I have in here is horrible. Let's lay this thing down upside down real quick. I want to see that carrier bearing. That's pretty cool. The carrier bearing in the middle for the act for the drive shaft. That's I like that. That's pretty badass. Look at all the drive shafts. Holy moly. That's freaking wild. I like changing my axles too in my in my TRX4, so I'm gonna end up having to buy I gotta buy two sets of axles now because can't just buy one set. I gotta do three axles. Alright. Pretty badass though. It's got all this like cardboard flakes all over it. I don't care though. Oh there we go. We got a better look at how what holds it on there. That little Allen screw. But bumpers is the front. The bumper is a, there is no front bumper mount. Remember on the TRX4s, it would go from here to here, and then you would put the bumper in. 
insert it there but this just doesn't have that piece I have a million of them though so if you wanted to take this off and put a different bumper on that's up to you whatever somebody would want to do now the back is pretty cool I like the, the black D rings usually they're gray I believe and the TRX4 Sport uh, red ones yeah and they had the red had red diff covers too in the Sport and everything's different the Blazers one is chrome and I think the Bronco one was chrome and then, uh, I, don't, I don't know they're all different but it's pretty cool though man I'm pretty excited I'm really pumped I can't wait to get this thing out put a battery in it and start driving it and at least go crawl with it for a little bit I, you know, I'm not even so, so worried about crawling them just I'm gonna drive it around <laughs> put a car on it let's see I could do that right now actually watch let's see I got a million trucks sitting around Let's try it out. Let's see. I got it. Let's see. Oh, this thing is freaking awesome, dude. Alright, hold on. Here we come. Let's try this out. Perfect for that. Let's see. Why are you stuck? does to me every single time I put this down. Every time. It's so light. Very light. Here we go. This truck, I, it's just, it just has some issues. Some more issues, and then I fixed it, and now it's, it's good to go, but this truck, there's no wheels on it. Let's see how it would fit. Now, it fits. Perfect, there's no wheels on it. These little buckles are in the way. I'll probably just take those off because I don't really like them on there. They're just in the way, just like I said, those rails are in the way. But it, it, it actually, if you line it up perfect, these actually sit right in the middle of the portals. The portals will sit right in the middle of that. Look. It's like it's like the same distance on both sides. That's like a perfect fit. But then obviously you put wheels on it, it's still gonna it's gonna hang over. Now that is why I'm gonna cut these rails off. It's gonna be pretty simple. So just cut that, 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 and cut this off. And it'll come off and it will give you probably a whole at least another inch of room on the bed of this truck pretty cool and I'm going to take the rails off I think it will look more scale without them I mean it's pretty cool having them but I like it without them but that's my unboxing video YouTube I hope you guys liked it I'll probably try and do some more but I've already got every dang truck there is but my next I have 13 crawlers the next thing I'm gonna buy I'm gonna go get me a Fortech this week so I can have a cool car to put on the back of this thing yeah I'm gonna go and spend $400 for a car to go on the back of this but actually that hobby shop that I said hard hardcore hobbies or um, uh, hobby quarters I mean I'm sorry yeah hobby quarters out of uh, uh, Foxborough Massachusetts they uh they got everything in there they got cool these cool uh, race cars for like they're just like the Vortex, and they're uh, they're two fifty, so it's definitely worth it. But this is it, the ultimate RC. I hope you guys enjoy it. Like, dislike, don't matter to me. I do this because I want to do it. And my kids love it too. Look at those. Cool Sick. I know they're plastic, but it don't look plastic. Sickness. Alright, have a good night, YouTube. Peace.